Horrific Productions, You'll Die Laughing. Why? This little witch doesn't know it, but she's taking some frightening chances of being hurt. Maybe badly hurt. Maybe brutally, horribly God, mutilated very, beyond very all recognition. Dangerous. Can you see the things that make it dangerous? What about that mask? Hey, it's a silver shamrock! Can see through those tiny holes for her eyes? If you were wearing that mask, here's what it would be like. Hey, I'm a grown-ass man who stole a witch mask from a little girl! Unless you happen to turn your head, you wouldn't see that car coming as you start to cross the street. You could be run over. Then you'd miss out on all those tasty, razor-filled apples. You can't see that you're coming to a curb. Ow, oh, that hurts. Please don't hurt me it's anymore, Miss Narrator Lady. Pavement, that it would be even worse to sprawl out on the street in front of a car coming. And it would be much worse if now someone came behind you and sliced your Achilles tendon so you couldn't crawl Can away. you see her clearly? Why not? What is there about her costume that makes it hard to see her? What is it about her that makes you want to crush her under your wheels until her head squishes like an overripe grape? And that's really scary. Before we think about some ways that the little witch could see... What a despicable little girl she is! Let's take another look at her costume, as well as be seen. We can improve the mask by cutting larger holes to look out of. You can also improve your vision by removing your eyelids. There. That's better. Except for those stray shards of plastic now jabbing into your eyeballs. You can simply not wear a mask. Then what the hell is the point of this then? Oh, you think you need a mask to disguise yourself? Because your parents dressed you up as a Ku Klux Klan crossing guard? With a little help from your parents and some scraps of cloth or old clothes from around home. Grind them up and rub them on your face. An eyebrow pencil, different colors of eyeshadow, rouge. Perhaps a nice push-up bra or some nut huggers. Or wig. If they're not some used right. Teeth. I'm glad that Corey's father is helping her. It's much safer that way. Corey's a cutter, you see. Eager to get inside? Yeah. Go ahead and pull that off. That's what she said. Uh, you ever seen the inside of a pumpkin before? Yeah. You ever seen a grown man naked? Okay, now comes the fun part. I'm gonna start cleaning it out. <laughs> Getting my inside scooped out tickles me. <laughs> and by tickles, I mean causes excruciating pain like none other in existence. So far, it's been fun. Um, for who? But look at Corey's hand. <laughs> kind of gooey, isn't it? He's <laughs> going to carve the face with a small knife. Can you imagine how that knife could slip and maybe cut her? Corey sure can. I hope Corey will do the safe thing. The safe thing being washing her hands in mercury-enriched water. <laughs> Good. Do you see what I see? A poor child? That robot is Jeremy in his costume. Fish and plankton and sea greens and proteins from the sea. Jessica, it's you. How do you like my costume? It only took nine months of planning and seven thousand well, dollars. Well, great from the outside, but from the inside, things don't look very good at all. Jeremy can't see very well with his robot head on. Apply directly to the, the robot forehead. Costume lets him walk very well. He can't bend his knees. For authenticity, he had metal rods inserted into his legs. Oh, no. Whoa, Jeremy! Keep your one it's out of my zero. It's hard for Jeremy to keep his balance. If Jeremy went out like that, he might keep losing his balance all the time. Then he'll never get he to kill Sarah Connor. Anywhere, and probably everywhere. Sidewalks hurt you when you fall on them. And so do streets. And streets are especially dangerous to fall down on. But if he does, it would Jeremy be his own be asphalt. Better if he doesn't want to spoil his Halloween fun. There, that's better. That'll put A some spring in his step. That's not safe. It should be easy for you to move in your costume. And you have to be able to see where you're going. Look, Jessica. I'm going as a cautionary tale. Could get you into all kinds of trouble. There. That's much better. And some people think it's fun to throw things at cars and houses and buildings. 